this button does, right? Oh, oh, that's what that button does. Wow, that 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 feels amazing. Oh, 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 oh. Eric. Oh. Oh, hey, Dr. Frank Barone of All Plastic Surgery and Medical Aesthetics. What are you doing? This chair is wonderful. I mean, it's a great way to relax. Yes, anything that lowers anxiety before a procedure is very helpful, as well as afterwards. But we have other options, and today we're going to talk about IV therapy, which is an exciting new concept to improve hydration and prepare people mentally and physically for surgery so they get better results. And then afterwards, to speed up the healing time and to improve results as well as the overall experience and make it more comfortable. And you do it here in this office? Yes, of course, and we have an example right here in the back. Would you like to go see? Sure. Let's go. All right. Oh, okay. All right. I'm coming. So, Eric, this is uh, Peyton, our evolved registered nurse. Hi, Peyton. And of course, no introduction needed for Amy, our Hello, Amy. licensed medical esthetician. <laughs> and our patient today is Heather. Hi, Heather. <laughs> so Heather is getting a hydrofacial, as you may recall. This is the most effective way to cleanse the skin, exfoliate, uh, it's a light peel, and also hydrates the skin and stimulates it. It's great for uh, just on its own, or we use it often before procedures to prepare the skin to get better results before laser treatment or Botox treatment or dermal fillers or anything like that. Now I do I do remember when I got my hydrofacial, right. there was a big old gross, disgusting gunk jar. The gunk jar. Correct. Yes. Uh, mm. Does it make me look like Brad Pitt? Well, we're getting there. How, at least Matt Damon. Closer. Okay. Would you like to see what uh, we pulled out of your pores? Well, sure. Amy? Oh, oh. That came, that came from me? Yeah, so this is the old skin cells, oil and debris that was removed in a very gentle manner as you found out, correct? That's out of my face? That's out of your face, that's out of your pores. Oh. But I did not have an IV. What does the IV do? So uh, IV therapy is one of the things that is very exciting because we can uh, prepare the patients for a procedure by improving their hydration, by giving them higher levels of vitamins, minerals and nutrients. And another big thing is antioxidants, uh, vitamin C and other antioxidants like glutathione. So when we take different supplements, only a small percentage is absorbed. And that's assuming we have a normal gut. Many people have problems with the gut with absorption. Uh, after bariatric surgery, they don't absorb minerals and nutrients very well. Antioxidants become neutralized before they're absorbed in the stomach or with the acid in the stomach. Uh, vitamin D levels are always low and that's huge for healing. And then after surgery, we can use it for hydration because many people are dehydrated after surgery or they have anesthetic medications still floating around their system, which can flush out, and toxins. Um, so this has been shown in clinical studies to reduce the downtime, reduce swelling, make the patient feel better, have more energy, things like that. With the IV, we're absorbing almost 100% of those antioxidants and those minerals. B12 can be used as well, which is essential vitamins. Remember, essential vitamins we can't produce in our body, so we have to get them, and most people are deficient with their diets or their food is depleted, or they don't absorb it very well. So this gives us a huge benefit in all those areas. All right, so this is a little bit more uh, complex than just going to the grocery store and getting some blueberries and a thing of orange juice, but it sounds like the basic vitamin group that's in a natural right. thing. And, you know, and, and of course, natural foods, are the best, but the problem is you don't know what's in it. Uh, antibiotics and hormones and other things in many of the foods we eat, or they're nutritionally depleted, or we can't absorb them very well. So that's interesting. Also, we've been using zinc uh, in, uh, IV for patients who are getting Botox because it boosts the effect of Botox. Or if you have the sniffles. All of that, yes. And it's also good, very good for a hangover. <laughs> <laughs> Heather, how are you doing? Oh, thumbs up from Heather. Very relaxing. Amy, always a pleasure. Peyton, nice to meet you. Dr. Bro, good to see you. Good to see you, Eric. So a lot of exciting benefits. Are you ready now yourself? Uh, I think there's a, a chair on the lobby calling my name. Maybe next time, maybe next time. All right, <laughs> my name is Eric Halbert, and this has been another 13ABC Marketplace Expert Edition.